Okay, the next step is, is as you're doing these, we're gonna start, uh, I'm gonna just get you thinking again about repetition. We've talked a little bit about patterns and a little bit about licks. What I want you to think about is how you can take a lick. and intertwine that into your concept of creating themes. So you might be coming off something where in your brain you're thinking about, you know, you're, you're listening to the music and you're trying to follow those chords around and you're trying to create some good musical phrases. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you feel like you need something. And then boom, you come out of that and you go into a bend. And then maybe from there, you go back into some melodic stuff. And then you come out of that into some... You know what I mean? That's so like Jimmy Page and, and you know, that sort of thing. So it, it's okay to keep moving through all of these different levels. You know, that's half the fun is, is you know, your brain is thinking about something and then all of a sudden you go, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna try some of this over here and then I'm gonna come back down here and do some of this. But the goal is to move through it all. You know, you could take the, the fastest, most impressive guitar player on the planet and listen to him the first time and go, wow, that's amazing. And then listen to him a thousand times and then you're going, ah, it's not amazing anymore. It's not trickery. That's really not the goal. Although it is fun to play something that's aggressive and powerful, um, but you have to use it sparingly because if you just do it all the time it doesn't sound exciting anymore so the goal is to use all of the elements of music okay so i want you to really think about all of those sorts of things